Hey, welcome to my trip in Wally World and what we're going here. The objective here today is a updated Roco. I have the older device and we've just been noticing we've had a lot of problems with it. Uh, uh, skipping, uh, freezing, crashing. So we just thought we should buy a better one. So that's what I'm going to do. And if you go to the very end of this video, you're going to see how someone pretending to be Roco, tried to scam me out of $70. Here's some watches. Nice looking ones. There's also some for $40 that connect. Uh, you know, there's some type of smart watches. I'm not sure exactly what they do, but it seems like that, this iTech brand, I don't know exactly what they do for that amount of money, but I'll have to look into it sometime. But my daughter and I, we used to go in stores and we would always look at the watch displays and try to find the ugliest watch that we could. So it was just a little game we played because usually there's some pretty gaudy, horrible looking watches. So we're taking a look through the clothes. So I have to kind of go through this to get to the back. Kind of take a little bit of a side trip. Looking at clothes a little more. Here we are. We're back in the back of the store now. Uh, oh, here's some. Okay, here we go on. This is getting to my back, too. You know, now I've had kind of shared about my back problems. They were better for a while. Now they're worse again. 25 percent off these uh, kind of books look like uh, kind of activity coloring books and things nice choice books they're not just books they're choice books <laughs> okay I got tons of stuff so basically you can tell we're getting to the the technology section and uh, like I say I'm a little sore here, so we're not going to go down every aisle. We're looking for what we look for. Of course, I'm going to have to be sidetracked a little. That's just me. Uh, taking a quick look at the GoPro cameras. Uh, some of the other digital cameras they have. That little yellow one has a Kodak name on it. I don't even really know if it's made by Kodak or not. Kodak has virtually disappeared. They may lease the name out, or maybe they do actually have someone contracted to make it for them. They're just kind of a shell of a company now. Not much to it anymore. Since they missed the boat with digital. Okay, here's more of the TV sections. I'm going to have to actually ask the salesperson because I'm walking around and finding nothing. Look at that huge empty shelf space there. That was interesting. You don't usually see that on a Walmart. TVs. Now, of course, newer TVs have a lot of these app things built in them. But if you have an older TV like us, and at least it has HDMI ports, uh, we can use the Roco to access all of these other channels we want. And, you know, the one thing about Roku that's good is there's free content. And the one thing that's really bad about Roku is the number of commercials. Here are some cell phones for only $39 by Motorola. Straight talk. Kind of neat. Did I see one just there for 9 I didn't notice that. I should have looked at that. You know, and, of course, they're planning to uh, make their money back on the service plans or the minute cards you buy for it or whatever. And here's just a display of Verizon ones. So let's keep going. Let's stop looking at these and see if we uh, can find some streaming devices and I'm still not having any luck. More, yeah, some more phone stuff. 
more phones, all kinds of different things. Got quite a selection and quite a bit of pricing, different pricing. Some things are real inexpensive. Besides, of course, they've got the real expensive ones too. Hmm. So I break down and I ask them what aisle the uh, Rocos are in. So off I go. Look at this track phones, big boxes. Oh, this is where I'm actually asking now, I guess. And they're going to tell me, and then I'll I'll go and we'll see what they have. Now I probably should have waited for some sale. You know, sometimes you buy them and they have a bunch of free content with them, so it makes them almost free or something, but. We have some stimulus money, so we will stimulate the economy, I guess. The the Roco as it is now really frustrates my wife. Okay, here we have the Roco selection. We have the Ultra. Hello. We have the Standard. We have the HD. Oh. And here is one you can see it's a security this is the stick the streaming stick so that's like 49 then they got the lowest one the 39 and then they have a much more expensive one as well that we're going to check out let's see what we find here okay Okay, there's the Ultra. Okay, they have a little chart here saying some are for uh, heavy users, some light users. But I just kind of decided it's better to probably get the best thing we can afford because we got the lower model last time and then it wasn't, it didn't work that well. So I figure we might as well get something that's higher quality. Uh, our TV doesn't do 4K. But maybe we'll have a 4K TV one day. I don't know. But then probably you'll need a different, different one of these anyway. But. Oh, here's a little chart saying. No contracts. No setup fees. And here it tells you the different things. We have a... Uh, Besides having a long-range uh, wireless, this responds to voice, and I'll have some, some, oh great, what's that in my hands there? It also has an uh, ear earphones with it, so that you can, uh, at night if you're playing it, you don't wake up the person next to you, if you can have those in already or whatever. So, see I'm kind of going back and forth on this. I don't know quite what to do. I'm trying to make that big decision. So, oh, then I try to go through the self-checkout with a device with a security thing on it, which isn't too bright to me. And then it also, you have to scan in the code at the register for the item to work too. So I, luckily there was someone there and they helped me and got it all done. So that was my little trip Roco shopping in Walmart. So I don't know. We have the the bottom device. I think we have we've had it for about a year. 
but it it crashes and goes offline so you go back to the beginning screen you're watching and something plus it does all this buffering all the time well so talking to some of my other family members that have them theirs don't do it and they have the newer ones so I was thinking so I should go up one step to what they have and then I thought wait a second we might as well go to the top because pretty soon those won't work as they improve things I don't know so we took bought bit the bullet and did this. Now we don't have uh, a 4K TV, even though this does 4K, I'm not kind of interested in that. Does brilliant 4K and vivid HDR color. It's funny, they had a big thing up saying, uh, all you can add, all this free content and under it they offer, they had uh, pay services. Now technically you can go on some of these pay services and do a free trial for a month. But it was, I thought the ad that was set up in there was a little deceiving. So, uh, technical specs. That's on the back. We've got uh, 4K Ultra HD HDR 1080p, 720p, HD streaming up to 60 feet per second. Dual quad core processing, micro SD and USB port. I don't know what that's for. Ethernet port and 802-11ac dual band MIMO wireless. Enhanced voice remote with TV controls and personal shortcuts. So, uh, you know, connect to your HD port, connect to the internet, start streaming. Of course, it's, it's never quite that easy. There's other steps you have to take. Let's just open the package with the Leatherman. We'll saw the tape. <laughs> we'll see what's in the box. It's heavy. So it's got a quad core processing. That means it's kind of like a computer. Okay. It's got this little tab so you can pull it up. So here's the device. We've got a DCN, uh, HDMI, micro SD, Ethernet uh, cable, a USB cable port, sorry. And uh, then underneath we'll have some other things. We've got an instruction sheet. We've got the remote. It's kind of a box like this. I assume this other little box, yes. This other little box is the uh, batteries for the remote and the uh, charging uh, cord device, wall wart, whatever you want to call it, and uh, earphones. So with this, one of the things about this is that you can sit there and plug in here and then the sound instead of coming out of your TV comes out in this. They've got pre-set up channels that are all pay services but Netflix, Disney, Hulu and Voodoo. Now the, the pay services don't work until you pay for them. So what Roku is attempting to be is your one solution port that you go to. In other words, you know, why have uh, the remote for your TV and have Hulu set up somewhere, Netflix set up somewhere else, you put, you can get it all through uh, the Roku app. So you still have to, you know, go on to Netflix or Hulu or whatever and pay the, whatever the amount and stuff like that, get your password, then you'd log into it on this and it would save all those settings. So then basically their hope is that this will be the only device you're using and you're not using uh, your your Apple Box remote or, or something else or the apps on your your TV they're hoping that you'll put everything through this because you know nowadays it's all about capturing the profit stream and you wouldn't think so necessarily with free content but I'll tell you the number of commercials uh, Roku puts on is is kind of obnoxious on something so 
mistake. This could have been a mistake if they're if these commercials are. I don't know. It seems like it's the amount of cur commercials are different depending on what part, time of day you watch Roku, which doesn't really make any sense. But that's the way it appears to be. And as you get nearer the end of the show, the commercials become more frequent. And another thing that's particularly irritating about Roku and commercials, and you say this, see it on YouTube too, is uh, they'll play the same commercial. Like you can't, you if you're watching an over pro, uh, a hour long program, you could see that same commercial uh, five to ten times. It's ridiculous, and so it really uh, it gives you kind of a nasty experience. So uh, it doesn't make me think, oh gee, I know what that's about. It irritates me, and I think. You know, I don't want anything to do with that product, but maybe they have marketing data that says otherwise. So, and the price you probably saw in the video before was ninety nine. Uh, they had the lower model, I think was thirty nine. The mid model that one uh, other family members have was fifty. But I just decided to go to the best. It has voice remote, but uh, my wife is got a speech impediment so I don't know if she could get that to work or not but the main thing is we wanted it to be more reliable not to crash and not to buffer so much so hopefully this will solve it because when I've had these problems I've checked with a speed checking app and we've still been up around a hundred uh, megabits per second with the uh, spectrum cable that we have not that it doesn't slow down mysteriously once in a while but there we go. Tell me what you think. We'll have some follow-ups with it, and I'll tell you how I think it worked. Hi. Someone just tried to scam me out of seventy dollars with a Sirocco setup. You know, you get to a certain point, and it says, "Okay, here's your number. Go to the website, the Rocco.com/link site, and I'll put this number in." So I think I've done that. I go to the site, put the number. They're like, oh my goodness, there's a problem. Don't worry, call this 800, this toll free number, and you can uh, we'll fix you out. So I call there and they're like, oh, no, yeah, don't, don't worry, we can set this up. Uh, and you, you get the Roco Ultra and all this stuff. And, uh, you know, uh, she gets, I do give her my email address, but uh, she's like, well, it's there's a one time charge of $69. I'm like, what? This Roco is free, and she says, "Well, no, you you're getting two, you're going to have two Rocos," and then I say, "Well, no, this is replacing the one Roco we had." She says, "Yeah, but it's a premium one; it's the better one, and there's a sixty-nine. It's only a one-time charge." And then I'm, you know, I'm kind of getting irritated. Then I kind of yell at the woman. You know, my voice goes up, and I say, "This is a scam." She hangs up on me. So I cool down a little bit, and I say, "Well, maybe I shouldn't have been so." whatever with her and so I call they pick up the phone and they hang it back up I can tell on my phone then I call them back again they pick it up hang it up again they're not going to talk to me so you know you pretty much know that it's not customer service then so then you know I go back to set up set it up myself and the next screen has this big line that says Roco will never charge a setup fee so uh, these people are out conning people and you know then I looked back and I realized that uh, even though the header under Google made it look like I had gone to uh, it said roco.com slash link that I had clicked on it actually took me to a non uh, non roco site in other words I didn't just type that into the browser I probably should have done that rather a lot of times I just get used to typing things in Google but when you do that you come up and are presented with these options. So if you don't pick the right one, and this one was much higher than the actual real Roco one, and I picked that, and it actually took me to scammers that were gonna uh, take $70 for doing, I don't know whether they'd actually help you or not, but the point is, you're paying $70 for nothing, for something that's free. So here's the number, and I'm gonna post it afterwards, and if you can call this number free, I'd like you to call them. You know, ask them how they're doing, what time it is, whatever. Tell them, tell them you have a Roco device and you're trying to set it up. Make up whatever you tell them, though, and just just tie them up. I mean, they're out scamming people. Well, we can scam them back, 
and I will report it to Roco, but for now, uh, call this number and uh, do whatever you can do to just waste a little bit of their time so that uh, in time so they can't be cheating other people. Bye.